beautiful. Like I like the skin tone. Skin. Yeah, I like the facial features. Face. Beautiful. Beautiful. Body. Body. Im immaculate. I. Everything. Everything. You don't have a word. I don't have words. <laughs> I, I love my friends. Don't get it wrong, but. If it has to come to choose and I go to jail, who's gonna bail me out? Your story is very interesting. Westbury is dangerous for some other people, but it's a home for you. Yes. And you feel yourself safe yes. in Westbury. Spend time like this. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually a, a fun of yeah. doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Eh? Hello, guys. Welcome to the channel. With a lot of challenge we are having at the moment, are we going to give up or. Are we going to keep pushing? I feel like it's too much. I feel like I need to cry. I feel like life is against me. I feel like the challenge is too much. I feel like I need to talk to somebody. But for now, the only people I can talk to is you guys. And then I decide to share this short story with you. Actually, what happened is that... What happened is that yesterday, they grabbed my phone. And my phone is like my office. And today, I don't have a phone. On the 30th of last month, I lost a phone. And then I say, I will not cry. And now on the fourth, I bought a new one and on the 18 I get that phone snatched from me I got that phone stolen from me in three weeks I lost two phones how do I call that Burbaya. how do you call this one in your language Burbaya. Marlberries. Marlberries. that's English Marlberries mm. is English Burbaya is Afrikaans Afrikaans yeah you speak very well Africans. Uh, I grew up in Westbury, so um, that's the only language I speak that side. So my mother and my father is Tswana, right? Tswana. Yeah. But the thing is, my mother's father is like is like Indian, so it's kind of a mix. So you 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 are mixed with uh, Tswana and Indian. The thing is, my mother's mother is black so it's like just a father that is Indian mm -hmm. so I consider myself black but black people don't accept one accept me because I don't speak like the language so and when you say black people will not accept you like so are you what are you white no I'm not white they consider me colored right colored. can yeah. you tell me what is colored actually colored is actually mixed race mixed race yeah it's like, like uh, Basically, colors originated in Cape Town, right? Okay. So you get two different types of colors. But the colors have another language besides Afrikaans. Yeah, English. they do have another language, but... How do you call that language? Besides Afrikaans? Yeah, besides African and English. Uh, Kosa. They speak Kosa that side. Kosa is not... Uh, Kosa people who speak Kosa? Yeah, but uh, colored people also speak Kosa that side. That's, oh, really? That's crazy. Introduce yourself to my people. Hi, um, hi guys. My name is Shaban. Uh, Shaban Mohammed, aka call me Dexter. Um, I'm a rapper. I'm a producer, videographer. I'm a, I wouldn't say engineer. I'm engineer in training. So, yeah, my music is my thing. Visuals is my thing. I like, I like seeing things visual. People like seeing things visually. So, I feel like music and pictures go together i do podcast um check out what about radio radio i only did one radio interview and it was at twana fm um shout out to tex for taking me there reslo tone and you speak very well twana hey by twana a bit bad i can so, i can yet which language are you more friend beside english africans Africans. Only Africans. I would say Africans. Tell me, how is it rap? How is the rap industry in Johannesburg? Especially, you say you are from Westbury. Westbury. Uh, in Johannesburg, it's kind of like a small 
like a small pact. Mm. You understand? So let's walk. So there are try there are people that's try to like keep certain demographics out. Mm. Why do you think there is like no not so many colored rappers? Youngster. You can only name youngster. Okay. You understand? Think, let me tell you. Mm. There's a lot of color rapping, but the thing is uh the government created it so that Zulus prosper the most in the music industry. No, no. Uh, do you think it's a government fault? Yes, I do because the government works for these artists. If if you go to ANC rallies and you go to EFF rallies, who do they mostly hire? They hire the, the artists that is on radio, on TV. Okay, tell me, uh, according to you, you say you are a colored, right? Yes. So you, you different yourself from a black? I, you know, in my applications, Aisha, I'm going to be honest about it. In my applications, I usually say black. Because, okay, cool. Yes. That's you cool. were born in Westbury? I was born in Westbury Coronation Hospital. Coronation Hospital. Now known as Raima Musa. Yes, yes, I know very okay. well. I know very well the hospital. Okay, yeah. Where are you originated? Originated? You were born in Westbury, right? So the roots, my roots basically. Your parents, uh, your, your, your grandparents, where are they? Uh, my ma from my mother's side, my king, and from my father's side, Mabopan. Oh, okay. You know, you know where your grand, grandpa and grandma come from, from the side of your mother and from the side of your. Yes, father. yes, 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 yes. And then now your parents uh, uh, give birth to you in Westbury. Uh, yes, but they kind they divorced. So by the time I was born, they were. Oh, okay. They were separated. So are you today married? No, I'm not married. I'm not married. But you are a father. I'm a father, yeah. Of how many? One. And you have to look after those ones. I definitely have to. I've always put the first. Like sometimes I don't even. I. Uh, you can, can you tell to my people again your name? Shaban Mohammed. Shaban Mohammed. Shaban Mohammed is uh, actually a, my new friend, which I just met here at the park. Uh, like I told you today. I just came to the park just to refresh my mind because of a lot of challenge where my phone was stolen uh, on the third year of last month the phone was stolen from me and I bought a new phone and it happened that yesterday they stole again my phone so I, and then I needed a place to to talk and then I met this my friend also and then I realized he have the same problem as me that's why we are sharing our situation at the moment guys keep watching and then i'm sure you can enjoy this story and then you'll probably inspire somebody out there if you are down don't let yourself down if you are down trying to talk to somebody live in westbury yeah how is life in westbury as a citizen it's like as for some people it's dangerous but it's home for me so i feel comfortable that side to be honest Although like crimes and things is going mm. on, I I just feel safe in that area. You say something very good. You say that it's dangerous for other people, but it's a home for you. Yes. It's dangerous for some people, but it's a home for Mohammed. Tell it's, me, what makes some people think that Westbury is dangerous? It's the stigma. It's things that they hear from other people. Okay. It's like to say, hey, they Westbury, they just hear like stories. But they haven't ever been to the place to mm. see like the place. Mm. It's there's more good things than like bad stuff. Mm. You understand? Just it's, like everywhere. I you, think everywhere is it's crime. It's a crime. You, and there's the bad people, there's good people. You see, people running initiatives, giving free food, mm. uh, you know, like positive stuff. They don't show these things, they just want to show shootings, killing. That's the only news they portray. That's the only like they're trying to push some propaganda towards Westbury. Westbury. You understand? But so, they, 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 they talk about gangster in Westbury. Is it true? Yeah, there's there's guns. There's guns everywhere in Joburg. Go to Hillboro. Mm. Guns. Mm. Go anywhere you want to go. Guns. Peop, you know, people are most targeted in suburbs than what they're targeted in Kokasi. Mm. Mm. They are more what makes West, Westbury to be home for you? Besides being born and raised in Westbury. Besides being born and raised in Westbury, yeah, I would say it made me the person I am. Gave me some tough skin, you know, showed me some sympathy. 
you know, empathy or so. Mm. So it kind of gives me both sides where it's like an, I can be nice to you, mm. but if you want the dark side of it, yeah. you can get a dark side. You can side. get a dark side of it. And the thing is, this is Joe Bug. Don't be naive and think, ah, it's nice, nice, it's nice, nice. Mm. Crime is I lost everywhere. I the phone on the 30th of last month. So two, two weeks, actually two weeks or three weeks later on, two weeks and a half yeah. later on, yesterday, I lost the second one I bought two weeks. Two weeks. So Shoot. I'm now without a phone. And uh, most of my thing going through my phone. <laughs> I actually, I was not in Westbury and... Uh, Somewhere in Johannesburg, I mean, everywhere in Johannesburg, if you are not, if you don't pay attention of what you got, you may lose it. Facts. That's you may true. lose it. That's true. And that's what take me to the park today. Nah. Tell me what take you to the park today. Uh, honestly, I clear my mind. Like I'm trying to get rid of the signs of anxiety and depression is kind of leaving me because good things are starting to happen. Mm. Happen in my life. I kind of like stop music, doing music and stuff. I. But you, you say, you say, you say that, uh, you say that depression. Why you think about depression? Think about it like this. I'm a man, right? Mm. I have a family. Mm. I have a family to provide for. Mm -hmm. And when you are unable to do that, like accepting help from maybe your parents or someone, it's. It, it, it kind of hits deep. I'm a human. Uh -huh. It's not like I'm a robot. I don't have feelings, emotions yes, yes, and stuff eh? like that. So, uh -huh. so depression is like a normal thing. It's something you can get over and things like that. Mm. You see, so I just came here, clear my mind, maybe smoke a blunt, think about... How was it difficult growing up in West Bay? Okay, to be honest, my father wasn't really there. You see, you was more of those outgoing people, fighting people, we used to drink a lot, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So that's the reason my parents actually split. Yes. So when I was growing up, I used to grow up like with my mother and things like that. So, but your mother, you, you grew up with your mother in West and, and my granny. And okay. my granny. Okay. So I, I value family as much as I value my friends. Oh, okay. That's that is very good part I, of it. I value you value my family more than I value my friends. Like I I love my friends. Don't get it wrong, but if it has to come to choose and I go to jail, who's gonna bail me out? Who's gonna come to my rescue? You, you know, you was born by people. Yeah. And then you'll be always have by people. Yes. Your life will be changed through people. Yes. And actually, if you don't have people. No one will help you when you're in difficulty. Yes, that's, you understand. That's true. And then you must know how to choose your people, because if if we were born by people, we will be buried by people. So if you don't have people next to you, who gonna bury you? Yeah. If you don't have people next to you, who gonna change Ch your, your, yeah. your life? Because actually, God used people to change people. Actually, so if you meet good people. And definitely, you can make use of good people to be another good person. Yes. To be an exist in Westbury, is it easy life going or is that difficult? It's difficult because... What make it difficult? Everyone wants to do their own thing. Everyone wants to... Everyone feels they're right. Mm -hmm. You understand? Nobody wants to be told, like, it can be an old person. Like, sometimes you need to take advice from young people. I. You know, it should be vice versa because old people don't like taking advice from like young people. They think, ah, that's like he knows, thinks he knows everything. <laughs> yeah, ah, yeah. Yeah, you see, so they have their own, they're stubborn. Let me say, stubborn is a strong word. Let me just say they, they want to do things their way. Uh, your story is very interesting. <laughs> because firstly, people think Westbury is, is a wrong part of Johannesburg to live. Yes. This is Mohammed actually who was born and raised in Westbury. And Mohammed said to us, Westbury may be dangerous to other people, but to him, Westbury is home. Give us some comment below so that uh, we can share the story together. Did Westbury is home for you? 
Did Westbury is a good Sabbath for you? Did Westbury is dangerous for you? Please give us the comment. What is your experience about Westbury? Yes. Mohamed, uh, I'm so happy that you know your origin. Some people think that Kalat doesn't know their origin. Is it true? Some yeah. people think that Kala doesn't know their grandparents. Is yeah, it true? Majority, yes, yes. Ma majority of Kala yes. doesn't know their origin. Yes, because on the heritage day they don't really like. They usually wear Kosa tie, Tana tie, Zulu, Tonga, Venda tie. Like they, mm -hmm. they, okay, and then t talking about culture, mm. what do you think? What is a what is a colored culture? Do you colored have a Culture? Yes, they do have, have a, a stigma that Westbury is dangerous. Do you have any stigma you think they, they put it on color in South Africa? Um, stigma, I would say maybe some bad back then bad things happened to people while going to Westbury. Mm -hmm. You know, like so they're gonna stick with that forever. And Westbury is always on the news, so it's nationwide. You know, it's like being broadcast in a mm wide spectrum so more people are now aware of it tell me do you know about eldorado park yeah i know of eldorado park. have you been there i've been there have you lived there no i haven't lived there fm dorado park is all, also another colored township or yes, suburb it's, a, it's way bigger than westbury okay and now tell me if we want to see the colored community hmm. in the old johannesburg let's say just take a johannesburg only or Lechok Halton. Where can you find more colored community? More colored Raker Park. Uh, all those, like you said, the Eldorado Park. Westbury. Uh, would I say West Dean? I would say West Dean. Mm. I would say Claremont. Mm -hmm. I would say Waterfall. I would say, yeah. Is it true that police doesn't go to, to Westbury? Some people say that if you have an issue in Westbury, police yeah. will never go there. If you, have a, if you have an issue and you phone them, you must think about it. Westbury is not that big. So, if let's say you phone for emergency... And then we have a police station next to Westbury. Brad, they'll come 15 minutes, 20 minutes later. <laughs> what make them do that? I don't know, but the ambulance, I applaud the ambulance. Thank you for your services. Okay. Like, y'all are always on time when there's a serious emergency, the ambulance really come and mm. pull up. Although the station is there. How do you want to see Westbury for the future? I want to see Westbury, first of all. Mm. I want to get rid of all the drug addicts and stuff like that because they, they are the ones destroying the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And that is pulling us back. You know, we're trying to... It's the future. We're trying to look forward, move, improve, you know, like improve ourselves. So they keep stealing the fiber optic cables, the copper cables and stuff like that. And the government, there's only a certain time they're going to do these things and help. You mm -hmm. understand? They don't want to do it every time. So I feel like if we can get rid of the drugs, we'll get rid of the I also hear that there's a lot of beautiful women, beautiful lady in Westbury. How is it dating in Westbury? Mm, it depends, man. Everyone is different. Mm -hmm. Everyone is different. But now nah, it's... Westbury women are very beautiful and... I would suggest... You just need to have a thick skin for them. Mm -hmm. You can't really let them run, push you over or anything like that because they... They're tough. They're tough. <laughs> <laughs> they say the most beautiful one belongs to, to some class of people you, you see yeah but now there is there's there's nice girls there nice girls there Definitely. tell me do you think a black man let's say a typical black, black person man. can mm. date a lady from west Berry? i feel anyone can date anyone that's of race where you put in color dating indian does this and does i feel like why i say that is that it seems like it seems like uh, those women, mm. are, in, in fact, it's like a, a property of some certain type of people. So if you it's, involve yourself there, you may be in danger. You may be. It's, it's, it's like it's like this. 
would you let someone date your sister? How would you feel at first? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You check. So it's just them being protective to see if are you a man to to protect this woman. Mm. They can't just let anyone. Ah, he's scared. How's he gonna protect? You know, like mm. that comes in. You know, How's mm. he gonna protect mm. this girl? Mm. You need someone. Show them. <laughs> we're gonna beside the love. Show some security. Yeah. Show show them to say ah. Yeah, I'm day. Not a gents. Mm. I'm here. I'm here to see your star. Ah. Have you ever dated a typical black person, which is not color? Yeah, I've dated. I've dated all races. Wow. Okay. White. Besa Indian. Besides Chinese. Yeah. Okay. I mean, when you say all races, the Indian, races in Indian, colored, colored, black, black. Uh, what other races? Albinos. No, I haven't dated the albino. <laughs> I would like, I would like in one day, the very pretty albinos. Albinos. Yeah, the very, wow. very, very pretty people. Wow. But my dream, my dream lady would actually be a swati lady. Eh? Okay, wait. When you talk about your dream lady, uh, I may ask if you permit me. You say you are a father. Hmm? Are you not going to marry the mother? I'm going to the marry the mother of a father, but. Mother of your child. Growing up, don't you have dreams? Yes, but now, if your dream need to be accomplished, meaning that no, I'm you're gonna two wife. No. Do you no. believe in polygamy? Uh, no, I ain't doing polygamy. I ain't doing polygamy. Poly no, I ain't doing that. Mm. I'm sticking to my woman. This woman is stuck by my side. I'm just telling you my fantasy to say yes. That was once upon a time. <laughs> Sweaty girls, please. This La is a, the, Mohammed is dreaming about you. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. What is actually good on sweaty women? Mm, they light skin. They have so nice features. Their bodies are always. True. Say it again. They, Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> sweaty, Yo, sweaty. I hope I don't get in trouble, but no. Sweaty is. Uh, Swati ladies are beautiful, like they beautiful. Like I like the skin tone, skin. Yeah, like their facial features. Face beautiful, beautiful body, body, Im immaculate. I everything, everything. You don't have a word. I don't have words <laughs> to say, but they they nice. They, they wow. They they actually nice wow. people. I'm sure somebody will be catching you now. Yeah, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, but sweaty, I'm, I'm, take, I'm taking ladies, I'm taking ladies. When I came in here, I was not even laughing. Since yesterday, this thing happened to me. You, you I, I, I was not fine, you know? Yeah. It seems like uh, talking to you will make me start laughing. Again, and then I want you also to go home with what more energy. You, know? mm. yeah, you must go home with whole more energy because uh, really, you know, life is like that. We got down. We got up and down, yeah. up and down, up and down. But we we, we really have to look up our down. But the down is because the down if is you, really tough, eh? No, but you you know to manage. If you don't manage it, that's where you go down completely. Yeah. You go underground. Underground. Because if you are down, you don't take that courage. Believe me, you go underground. Underground. Who want to go underground? I mean, you're still young. Yeah. How old are you? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight, Mohammed. Hot cake, eh? <laughs> sweaty girl, <laughs> sweaty woman. You see, at age of 28, that is actually when your life started. Is it? Yeah, it's your starting point. Hey, we're feeling old out here. No, 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 no. 28, 28 is your starting point. What is your thought about what you want to do? Because before you do action, you have already thought about it. So be careful of what you think during the day. Be careful of what you think during the day. That is my own advice to you. Thank because you I find you down, and then me also was down. But coming to the park, I know, okay, I can use the park in the quiet place and and build my mind for the day. Yeah. And bring bring years, bring another bring another way of seeing life. Yeah. That's what I was looking for coming here. Coming the side. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, because going through with my phone, my phone is like my office. It's like your office. My like it's my office, my phone. I do a lot of things through my phone. Okay. And then remember, I had one phone. Yeah. This stolen. The I next. bought new one. Two weeks later, it's stolen. It's stolen again. Yeah. So now it's like you trying to 
you're trying to, to move, move forward forward but people are driving you down back, yeah they, they put you down put you same down way, same. i was going to to school today with my son i said to him listen mm -hmm. you see what your father is going through he said yes and then i said to him boy but i'm not gonna lose it i'm not gonna give up Gang. i'm not gonna give up Gang. maybe i'm close to my to my breakthrough mm -hmm. and then you give up what happened uh, all is gonna fall yes so sometimes you can go you can go you can go till maybe you just need uh, 10 centimeter to go to your breakthrough you give up and another person from nowhere just come and hit that place yeah and then he he will meet the gold who were there you were looking for but one who dig you dig dig maybe 100 meter to get the gold but he was just left maybe with 20 centimeter to get that goal you give up because yeah. you say hey, i'm tired i've been uh, i've been digging for 100 100 meter i didn't get it next i'm fine but he was left what only maybe a few centimeter you leave you leave it you go mm -hmm. another guy will just say just passing by say let me try this thing i can have a goal he just hit one yeah. <laughs> then he find the goal yeah. who was looking for it who who actually make it you but you give up I, I like I like what you say. So yeah. we should not give up, no matter the circumstance. I gave up at one point. Mm. I like uh, you shouldn't because I was like God, why? That is that is that is exactly the test. This you, test you know, you know, even believe they got a strong mindset. You believe that I'll make it. Yes, is your mindset. You believe that I'll do it. Definitely. You believe that I'll succeed. Definitely. You believe that I will make money. But that is your thought. If you don't fix that mindset, do you think you'll do it? But if you have a negative mindset, obviously you do nothing. Yeah. Right. If you have a positive mindset, you'll still believe that I can still go walk out there and look for a job. I can still meet people there because remember, something somebody can, will change your life. Something can. Stand somebody up. somewhere going to change your life. You're not going to change it alone. There's no way you can change your life alone. You need the help of. Mm. Yes, guys. The way I find Mohammed, Mohammed was down. He was sitting in the park and not talking to anybody. Me also, I was sitting somewhere, not talking to anybody. And then I have to go through to him. And then he told me that he was down. But I think we have to stand. We need to stand now. Now, not tomorrow. I think he's looking up, but I'm just thinking of a way to keep it this time not yeah definitely you, you see you, you said to me that you have a family mm. this family they are waiting for you if you are down what about them i i know i understand the, the weight that comes with it all mm. and i'm prepared for it i knew it was coming i'm prepared for it i wish what you are saying tomorrow when you watch this video you remember it I uh, will definitely remember. Can you share your mindset with us? Can you tell us about with the mindset to take you to the pub and the mindset you have after we share our conversation? Okay, the mindset I had to the pub was kind of down. Like, hey, I'm human, guys, so you can look at me as being weak or anything, but... No, you're not weak. Yeah, no, I understand <laughs> that, but some people will take it as that, so... I came to a clear place, tam, cool breeze, you understand, relax myself and speaking to him right now um, actually changed my mindset to be more positive, to be more affirmative, you understand, so mm. uh, yeah, it's, it's all about moving forward, I can't look back and regret it or anything, I need to, whatever I, I have right now, I need to appreciate it. Mm. and mm. you know like hold it dearly to me so keep going you keep going i can't i can't stop now mm. i can't stop we are now. men i can't stop being a now. man we we need to show the that um, that positive thinking to our wife to our children yes because if we are weak believe me there will be more stress yeah they will have more stress than yes. us <laughs> after we we spoke that long 
and uh, call me Alphonse. 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 Alphonse is my name. Okay. The name of the channel is Foku Media. And then I want Mohamed to give us some last words. Uh, like I say, if you are not subscribed to this channel, please do. Go Definitely. to YouTube channel and type Foku Media. And hit the like the button. Don't forget to hit the like button. Exactly. Mohamed, do you have any last word for our viewer? Do you have any um, any advice you can say to somebody who was feeling like you this morning? My last advice would be don't give up. Mm, guys. Please. There is hope. There's a hope. There's there's a man upstairs, he works in mysterious ways, but mm. at the end of the day, mm. trust me, he works for all of us. All of us. He's putting us through the test. The, the, the question is, are you strong enough for the test? Mm. Or are you just going to fold? Mm. And I believe every one of us are strong enough. We have a hard brain. And, and for colored community. Let's stand together, let's work. Let's make the same. No matter you are from Westbury, you are from El Dorado Park, we are one. We are one. And, we are please, one and please don't get the wrong perception of it. Westbury is a nice place, actually. Okay. It's a nice place. Uh, what you're hearing about shooting and things happens everywhere. Mm. You understand? So and then I just want to let you know that uh, Mohammed was born. He was born and raised in Westbury. And then he still live in Westbury. He live in Westbury with a with his uh, girlfriend and, uh, and the child right my mother and the mother as well so the whole family is there uh guys it was very nice uh, meeting uh, mohammed uh, like i say we was in the municipality lake down here in uh, westin uh, we share a lot uh, definitely, definitely. I advise you to go in the beginning of the video so, so that you can subscribe see the to this man's page subscribe so we are on the road we are on the road for 30,000 subscriber guys so let's hit the 30,000 subscriber uh, somewhere in December and my birthday will be on the 18th December <laughs> <laughs> I wish we can hit the 30,000 subscriber on my birthday thank you for watching guys I love you and without you guys Foku Media will be nothing with you guys Foku Media is growing thank you thank you guys <laughs> Goodbye.